Hello grade 9 science class, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson 3 of the chemistry unit titled Matter and Its Properties. Uh, so we're going to get a little bit technical with some definitions in this one. Um, so make sure that you pause at the beginning of each slide and copy down the definitions and then listen carefully to what I have to say about it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, should be no problem to ask. So we'll be seeing you regularly. Uh, you can see the key points above me. So we've got matter, and then we've got chemical property and physical property. So matter and its properties. I hope that all makes sense. I'll shift over into the middle. There we go. So let's get into it. Um, investigating matter. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. You might be going, oh, like what the heck is mass and volume? Well, it is right below that. So mass is essentially anything that has weight. And I would add that into our um, definition here. Hopefully you still have space. So mass is anything that has weight. My keyboard has weight, computer has weight, I have weight. So I have a mass. It is measured in grams sometimes, or pounds, or kilograms but mass is essentially weight. So matter has weight. What is volume? Volume is essentially the amount of space that something occupies. So I take up space. You take up space. My keyboard takes up space. Everything takes up space. So anything that has a weight and takes up space is considered matter. The earth takes up space uh, and has a weight. It is considered matter. Every single thing. When we have matter that is only one kind, one specific kind, uh, we call that an element. So an element is a substance that contains only one kind of matter and cannot be broken down or separated into similar substances. Oxygen is an element, and we're going to get more into elements later in the unit, but they are substances that cannot be broken down. Um, so matter is anything that has mass and volume, anything that has weight and takes up space. When we talk about properties of these pieces of matter, because um, matter has properties. Matter, there are things about them that we can touch and feel and look at and measure. Um, so when we talk about these things, there are two types. There's qualitative properties, essentially things you can't measure, but things you can describe. So you can describe the texture, you can describe the color. But you can't measure the texture, you can't measure the color, that doesn't make sense. Things you can describe are qualitative. Things you can actually measure, like the mass or the conductivity, uh, the volume, uh, things you can actually measure are quantitative. You can get a quantity, you can get a number out of it. So there's two types of different properties, things that we can describe and things that we can actually measure. Chemical properties, which is key point two above me, uh, are characteristics that are observed when we react two substances together. So reactivity is how much the degree to which substances combine chemically with other substances like water. So if things react with water, we would say that it is chemically reactive. Uh, one of its chemical properties is that it is reactive. Uh, combustibility to uh, does the substance burn if a substance burns that is a chemical property if it does not that is a chemical property is it flammable or inflammable uh, toxicity the degree to which the substance reacts in the body to produce harmful substances is it toxic or is it not that is a chemical property so the reactions that it has in the body or uh, in the air uh, or does it burn? So it's the reactions. Um, physical properties are characteristics of matter that are observed. Um, we can; These are more so qualitative, uh, but sometimes they can be measured as well. So an example um, would be the density, the amount of matter per unit of space. That is a characteristic of that type of matter. It is a physical property because it doesn't matter if it's reacting with something it has a density. Uh, on the pages below, there is a list of several different uh, physical properties. And what I'd like you to do for the do now, your job, 
is to define those physical properties. So I want you to read those descriptions of each physical property. I believe there are seven. Uh, and write each of them in your own words. I'd also like you to give an example. So there's hardness, crystal form, malleability, solubility, ductility, viscosity, and the melting slash boiling point. So what are all of those? I'm not going to explain it to you. It's going to be for you to figure out. So read those descriptions and write them in your own words. If you have any questions or you need any help, please let me know. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.